<laughs> and then another one that uh, I also would love changed. See, Phil loves changing D2R. Uh, I don't know which one would be best. A lot of people have settled on, I think, like a currency page or something like that. Just, I hate transferring perfect gems, um, like the keys for the terror zones, things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the runes, like you're, you're saving like uh, spirit sets because you want to get your spirit sword and re-roll them and you got to stack them up on mules and then transfer them back. Or like if you want to craft, you have to transfer them to a mule. Well, you can't craft on that character. You have to transfer them then to a character that's the right level to craft. And then mm -hmm. just, man, if there was some page where it would just be like, you have 147 rail runes, 111 amethysts, and you're just like, boop, 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 take out 10 amethysts, take out 10 rails, and you're ready to go. You know, like, that would be so nasty, and not having to have a, a rune mule, and a gem mule, and a crafting mule, just amazing. Absolutely. Here, I think, yeah, we, we all know that uh, all these quality of life changes are really great. And uh, yes, I, I can uh, confirm Sweetfield does uh, want changes. So <laughs> listen up, people. Um, pro change, but, Phil. Uh, yeah. Pro change, Phil. <laughs> so like regarding the the currency tab, so I, like the two things that I could say here is that uh, stackable runes and gems and like all these uh, kind of organs, keys and things like that is definitely really great thing. And again, like looking back at uh, Project Diablo where I only you only need like 33 uh, numbers if you are lucky to find more than one Zod, right? Then you uh, need 33 spots for runes and then like seven for gems and three for keys. And that's pretty much covers so much. There is always uh, like a little problem with the jewels, but again, like they overcome it with uh, just a simple recipe that breaks your jewel into jewel fragment. And then for crafting, you actually use jewel fragment or normal jewel, whatever you like. So, and those jewel fragments can be stacked as well. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess I haven't, Is you said that is in Project Diablo 2. I haven't played it in a few yeah, seasons, so yeah. that must be a, a slightly newer thing I yeah guess. it was like a few seasons ago yeah so not in the first two or three for sure so it was okay, way yeah. later and um so what i was uh, worried about like only saying currency tab is that imagine uh you want to craft something and every time you take something from currency tab in order to craft it you take it only one thing right and it's not stackable so you would still then have to have your inventory full of gems jewels and runes and you will have only like you know four sets basically of ten like ten sets of uh, three runes and a few more in order to craft something so without stacking it would be still kind of difficult to manage crafting in a larger quantities uh, at the same time trading those larger quantities of runes uh, jewels or uh, gems will be difficult without stacking even though you have currency tab that can absorb them into one slot so i would imagine if uh, if they were introduced, uh, like stacking would be good because it only occupies X amount of slots and that's it. But uh, with currency tab, we need to be a bit more careful not to miss on this kind of uh, thing about trading and about crafting yourself uh, when you would benefit greatly from having those uh, currencies stacked uh, in, in, one, in one slot of your inventory.